Hallelujah! Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good and His love endures forever. Let us give thanks to Him, who is enabling us to see this beautiful month in our life. Let us praise God and let us give thanks to Him from the bottom of our heart to praising His holy name, to give glory to His mighty name because He is our God, He is our Creator. Here in this month, we are going to meditate the promise of God. God, God wants to speak with us. God wants to give the promise of the word from Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 9. God wants to bless us with this promise word. The Bible says like this, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. Yes, there is no doubt at all. Our God is a God who created the whole universal. He is a faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generation of those who love him and keep his commandments. He is a faithful God, so we can take heart and confidence in Jesus Christ. God is only constant as Moses declared he is a faithful God. He is a faithful God to each and every one of us. Whoever love him, whoever trust him, whoever rely upon him, he is faithful unto them. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19 says, God is not a man that he should be, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? He is not a man. He is a God. He is a God of faithful. He should, lie, he should not lie and he should never uh, do anything against to his people. He never changed his mind. He is a God of faithful. He, whatever he speaks, whatever the promises God has given to us, he is a true God to fulfill all the promises in our lives. God's faithful means whatever he declares, 100% reliable. Whatever the promises he given in the Holy Bible, that is 100% reliable. If we trust him completely, if we honor him completely, if we keep our belief on him, absolutely, he does not fail you and me. He does not fail, forget each and every one of us. We need to believe in God. Because he is faithful God and he redeems us from all the stress of this world. He is redeemed us from all the sins. He is redeeming each one of us, whatever the struggle we are facing. He is ready to redeem us. There are people facing a lot of change, challenges that the stress of the workload. The employees are feeling a great stress because of the workload. And the students are having a great stress because of their education. There is a stress of the depths in the family. There is a stress in the, because of the illness in the family. But still, God is faithful. He is ready to redeem us from every challenge. He is ready to redeem us from every stress. Then, if we believe in him, he is ready to bless us. He is ready to redeem us. Because of his faithfulness, we are receiving the blessings from God. Because of his faithfulness, he is keeping all the promises in our lives to become a true in our each and everyone's life. The first point in this verse is saying, The Lord your is God is God. The Lord your God is God. Yes, our God is an unchanging God. Our God is a true God. There are many changes that have taken place in the world. 
there is a global change there is a climate change their money always values time to time there is a change even the war between ukraine and russia impacting the rest of the countries to change our wealth may change our parents may change our relatives may change but jesus never ever change he is unchanging god hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 verse 8 says jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever if we believe like this if jesus is christ is the same yesterday today and forever we will see the wonders and we will see the miracles of god in our lives the prophet isaiah described god is our ever present savior our god is a ever present savior and he is with us he is with us to strengthen us in the time of the crisis he is with us to walk with us to lead us to protect us to feed us he is a god of faithful many times we may unfaithful to him many times we may far from him but still god is blessing us god is giving promise to each one of us he is the faithful god to each and every one of his children the second part of this verse is saying he is a faithful god first corinthians chapter 1 verse 9 says god is faithful who has called you into fellowship with his son jesus christ our lord god is faithful yes he is faithful and he accepted us as his beloved children and he have allowed us to call him abba father not only that he also called us each one of us by name to have fellowship with his beloved son lord jesus christ how wonderful we are how blessed people we are to having the fellowship with the lord jesus christ we are called by god we are chosen by god to have the fellowship with god we usually uh, always going for the fellowship with our friends we are waiting for the fel- to have fellowship with our family members but god the faithful god called us to have fellowship with his only one begotten son the son lord jesus christ the second corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 says that no matter how many promises god has made they are true whatever the matter but the promises of god are it is true everything to true to the glory of god god is faithful he keeps every promise he makes the lord himself goes before you and he will be with you he will never leave you nor forsake you so my dear brothers and sisters in christ we are no need to be worry the promise of the word says do not be afraid do not be discouraged god the holy spirit of road the promises in the word and then applies the same word into our hearts all the promises of god are true and he is going to fulfill all these promises in each and every one's life and third part of this verse is saying his covenant of love a thousand generations his love continues a thousand generation generation by generations are receive his love because god is love god's love is unfailing love god's love there is no boundaries to his love whoever lives in love lives in god and god is in him his love is unfailing love john chapter 3 verse 16 says god so loved the world that he gave his only one son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life yes god so loved the world so he sent only one begotten son to save you and me to give salvation freely to each and every one of us to cleanse all our sins by the blood of lord jesus christ he sent him to die for you and for me he is he gave his life on the cross of calvary through his blood through his life 
we all received salvation freely so god's love is uh, gives to his children love goes thousands and thousands of generations the generation of his children will enjoy his love so we are ready to accept we are ready to encourage the people to receive the love of god to enjoy the love of god believe in god's word and enjoy the love of god enjoy the presence of god throughout your life because his presence always go with us and his word always encourages and he is a faithful god he never ever leave you nor forsake you let us take the word of god in our hearts in this month remember throughout the month your god who called you to have fellowship with his son the god is faithful god the god is unchanging god the god's love there is no boundaries to his love whatever the problems we are changing do we feel overwhelmed by your circumstances we need to stand on god's promises and not let ourselves be moved let us stand on the promises of god let us live in the promises of god let us claim the promises of god because he is faithful unto you our god is a god of faithful our god is a god of compassion our god is a god of mercy let us enjoy the mercy and compassion throughout this life let the promise of the lord may fulfill in each and every one's life god bless you all let's pray together our heavenly gracious loving father king of kings and king of glory we praise you father we glorify your name together father we want to give thanks to you for enabling us to see this beautiful month month of april father god how wonderful you are lord how beautiful your words lord how amazing your love lord father god we are here to give thanks to you from the bottom of our hearts because you have remembered us lord you have remembered us and, and helped us to see this month and you are enabled us to enter into this new month father god and we give thanks to you father for the great promise word which you have given to us to strengthen our faith to keep our trust in you master god thank you lord for your faithfulness thank you lord for your mercy thank you lord for your love which flows from generation to generation so master god how wonderful you are master you are god you are a god of mercy you are omnipotent god you are omnipresent god you are omniscient god all powerful god all knowing god always you are there for us master god Lord Jesus Christ we want to give thanks to you master for this great promise help us lord to claim all the promises which we have kept for us in this holy scriptures master god help us lord to read the word of god and help us lord to depend upon thy word master god help us lord to walk with you father god we invite you the holy spirit lord hold us with your righteous right hand master god lord hold us as master god with your hand lord lead us master god help us lord to follow your footsteps master god help us lord to continue to be with you master god help us lord to continue to love you master god help us lord to continue to keep your commands in our hearts master god because your commands means are very true father god help us lord to follow all the commands without fail master god lord i am praying for my brothers and sisters lord we give glory for their lives and their commitment master god you bless them father god as a family along with our children we are here to praise you we are here to glorify your name we are here to give thanks to you for your protection in the past master god thank you lord for the tender care master god thank you lord for your love which is sustaining us to live in this world master god praying for all the students lord as they are preparing for the examinations master god may you grant them your wisdom and knowledge lord may you give them the 
divine power master god may you give them an understanding power whatever they are reading my father god let them write examination perfect manner give them lord victory then they all may praise your holy name father god i am praying for the parents who are upholding the children for the examinations lord you bless them lord bless their prayers master god let the prayers of the parents may reach run to the master god i am praying for all our soldiers lord wherever they are lord whatever they are doing when they are joining with me to pray master god let their prayers may be heard unto the lord let their prayers may bring blessing to the family master god father god i am praying for india south eastern territory the ministry which is going on master god you bless it master god praying for the territorial leadership praying for the cabinets praying for all the divisional commanders district officers and actions and officers master god all the servants of thine all the local officer and soldiers master god you bless them master god pour your holy spirit upon them oh lord fill them lord with your holy spirit lord anoint them with your holy spirit master god meet their needs master god fulfill all their desires according to thy will and wish master god lord help us lord to keep your commands master god help us lord to be faithful unto the lord help us lord to trust in the completely master god you are a god who can see the depths of our heart you are a god who can change all our lifestyles master god the sick people father god who is looking unto thee for healing master god touch them and heal them lord i am praying for the bereaved family who lost the beloved mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters due to various reasons master god may you comfort them may you console them may your peace establish in their houses lord may their hearts are filled with your joy and peace master god bless them master god bless our cbh hospital father god bless all our institutions master master god bless all the officers who are working hard in the field master god you bless them i am praying for the connecting community studio master god bless it master god through this channels master god we are able to reach to our people master god lord bless all the team members who are working very hard master god you take care of them lord lord help us lord to keep on meditating your word which you have given as a promise to this month lord help us lord to keep it in our heart and praise your holy name lord we want to give thanks to you once again for every blessings which you bestowed upon our lives we give glory and honor through this mission and ministry i ask this prayer in the blessed name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen Thank you God bless you